I'm Mark Babbitt, CEO and founder of U-Turn, and you're watching Facets Television. Hi, my name is Joey Flores, and I'm the co-founder of Earbits.com. You're watching Facets Television. Welcome back. You're watching Facets Television. I am Kevin McDonald, and with us this evening are some folks with Odessa Tactical and the OTAC Pack right here. With us is Mike Beard and David O'Brien, and they're going to talk to us a little bit about a class and some educational material that I took recently, which has to do with trauma in the field. Many of you understand and know about things like the San Bernardino attack and other recent attacks that make for very dangerous times for people out in the world. And this kit and this training is one thing that may just save your life. Thanks, guys, for coming in. I really no appreciate Thanks. it. Thank I you for really having us. It. So really quickly, let's talk a little bit about um, what Odessa Tactical does as a company, and then we'll go from there. We started out as a gear company several years ago, and then my son started to migrate us towards kidding stuff. Mm -hmm. And this came out of it because two ex-Army sons, they didn't have what they needed. Um, this thing evolved. It took us about maybe six months of looking at the right kit so that when you uh, open up the kit in a violent situation when there's trauma, mm -hmm. that nothing falls out. So we found this one out of 12 bags. Uh, met Dave while doing some training at another organization. And uh, Dave will be our partner for training classes. Um, so this kit, Dave's training, you can extend or save lives. I have little doubt. I, I took the class with David, actually, and he was my teacher. And I actually have several of these kits and have bought others for friends and family, and I intend to buy more. But um, what this is is a trauma kit, and it has particular products uh, in it that allow you to quickly recover or quickly at least stave off death in the case of a severe trauma. So why don't you give me a little bit of an idea of what's in the kit? Okay. So what we got is a basic need for arterial bleeding. You're in a violent situation in your car, wife, family is there. Your wife uh, gets her arm cut mm -hmm. by broken glass. Mm -hmm. The blood starts squirting two feet in the air. For those of you that don't have a, that don't have a tourniquet, two to three minutes you're gonna bleed out. Mm -hmm. So with a simple little tourniquet like this, you can wrap it on and you can stop bleeding within 30 seconds. And this is our uh, military field tested as well, right? This one isn't. We have other kits that are. Okay. This, was, this is an economical one. It works. It's vulcanized, tough rubber, mm -hmm. and it's really easy to cinch up on your arm. Uh, the other thing we have as a part of that is if you have a massive bleeding, mm -hmm. you have a hemostatic agent or quick clot mm -hmm. that you place either into the wound or on top of it, apply pressure, and within two to three minutes, you actually stop bleeding. You coagulate the blood. Now, I've known many guys who ask me, I don't need that. I have tampons. I just stuff them in there. You're still bleeding, okay? Mm -hmm. you're, you're not stopping the blood. This actually coagulates the blood. I was actually surprised at how well it worked. Um, you can press it into a large hole with pressure behind it, and it coagulates so well that it actually took the hemostat to, to pull the clot back out. I mean, that's fascinating. And, I, and you know... It isn't just violence. It's the violence of a car accident. It's a, you know, slip and fall that hits something sharp. You be amazed at how many people die from an inability to stop bleeding. So what else is in this kit that, that could save your life in, say, in a, in a shooting situation? In a shooting situation, um, there are chest seals. If you get shot in the chest and it goes through, you're going to have pressure from the outside air coming into the cavity near where the lung is, mm -hmm. and that pressure is going to cause the lung to draw in less air, correct? Yes, correct. And David's the trainer yeah. here. Um, but having a, a twin pack of a chest seal, you put one on the front, one on the back, mm -hmm. what we did was we put the twin pack in there because we saw most kits only had one. So what do you put on the other side? Mm -hmm. Duct tape? Um, we don't use duct tape. We, we use what the nurses like. We use... Coban, which is a self-adherent wrap, 
and that way it doesn't stick to the skin, and they can pull it off easy. But and duct tape doesn't are, stick when there's blood in the situation yeah, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> you can find some pretty, duff, uh, pretty tough duct tape out there. But anyway, that's, that's the other one. So look, if I can real quick, David, you actually were a medic um, in the British. That's correct. Military, yeah, I right? did 12 years in the British military. I didn't, I didn't join up as a medic. I had medic training to a, a higher level than mm -hmm. your average infantry guy. So... Um, yeah, I did medic training and I moved over here and it's, it's really important, um, I feel. Uh, that's why I decided to instruct uh, and get on board with uh, Odessa Tactical. Um, the kit itself, there's a lot of kits out there that uh, say they're trauma kits and they don't even have the essentials like a tourniquet. Yeah, and first and they market kits with a fancy it, name, right? Yes, yeah. and they're very expensive. Yeah. This kit has got everything you need for a trauma situation and none of the stuff that you're not going to need. Um, so I think when I took the class, um, you know, I do a lot of people in law enforcement, the military and different agencies and so on. And so to see somebody who came from a very violent um, operational place say, mm -hmm. I'm comfortable with this being something that's of value to someone in a traumatic situation was one of the reasons why I felt good about having okay. it. So, yeah. um, what do you think is the best thing about this package? Okay, for this, for me, the rats, the rats tourniquet. Um, in the military, you're probably aware we use the cat, but this for me, because the simplicity of it, so it makes it trainable for everyone. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very easy to use, and within minutes of training like you did at the class, you would get it on an effective within under a minute. Which He's right, it actually is quite easy and, and um, they actually use oximeters to test. So you wrap it around your arm and you pull it, it's self-administering because of the way it's made, it's actually easy to use. And by the way, trust me folks, the stuff you see on TV where people take a piece of cloth and a pencil, that's wow. not a tourniquet, it's not going to work, you're going to bleed to death. So um, it really does makes sense to have something like this. What's a kit like this run on the retail? It runs, uh, this one runs at about 150. And then you add okay. the class? Yeah, the class, we're looking at getting that for 95. So, 95, yeah. so you're looking at about 250. Yeah. Yeah. So I've taken the class. I can tell you it will be one of the best $250 you ever spend. This is not about a commercial. Most of you know I'm a martial arts guy. I'm a shooter. I spent a lot of time teaching people about safety and self-defense, and for the first time, I have these with me when I'm at the field. I never go to the range without this with me. It's in my pack. I go into the desert, spent the whole weekend. The first thing that got pulled out and put on the table was the trauma kit yeah. before anybody else took guns out. So I appreciate the value of it. Um, when are the classes going to start? Uh, we're, gonna, we're looking to start February. Uh, okay. That first classes and these uh, kits are integrated into that course. These classes, yeah. yeah, these kits are integrated into the class, and uh, that makes it easier for somebody to train you. Mm -hmm. Okay, some of the kits that come, they'll come with uh, vacuum seal components, mm -hmm. and you put it in the kit yourself. But when you look at the kit, the layout, and how the training is done, up here's the most traumatic. Then mm -hmm. here's the next level, mm -hmm. and then down here's the kind of the boo boo level. Okay, yep. uh, the band aid. There's really no band aids in here, but that level. And taking people through that the way David does, uh, especially with some of that um, uh, imitation blood yeah, and uh, actually having it stopped yeah. and people seeing it. You know, if people had this at uh, the Boston Marathon, how many others could, you know, be around today? Yeah. That's just the little things. And we know that, too, because there were people that tried to do makeshift tourniquets, right. and they bled to death, unfortunately. Yeah. And, a, and, and, and it's, it's a shame. There was a study of the Boston Marathon, and... They, they found that non, no improvised tourniquets worked on that yeah. thing, so that's yeah. why it's so important that's to get trained on this stuff. You need yep. a real one. So I want to agree with you guys right now. We want to do a second segment yep. without giving away the whole class because we want people to pay you for your expertise. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but I think we can do right. enough of a demonstration yep. for people to see that it's something that they should do. Definitely. I'm just going to say everybody that's old enough to stand up straight and pull on this rubber band should take this class. So, yep. guys... Thank you for coming Thanks, in. Kevin. I really appreciate Thank it. You Thanks for, for trying us. to save the world because we need more people that are willing to do that. Thank so, you. Uh, you've been watching Facets Television. I'm Kevin McDonald. With me is Mike Beard and David O'Brien with Odessa Tactical. And once again, thank you for watching.